Uh, he moved up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Maya is really good at kind of not letting the stresses of things get to her on set. She's really good at just like keeping it really chill, keeping it mellow. She definitely taught me to relax a little bit more on set and when things do get gnarly, to just chill. My first impression of KJ was, wow, this dude is such a Kiwi, which I know well because my entire family is from New Zealand. One thing I've learned from KJ has been how to love romantic comedies. He is a lover of the genre. I didn't share the love for romantic comedies in the way that he does, so I definitely inherited that from him. I met Halston. It was my first day of set, and it was like everybody's last week of filming, so I started the movie, and I didn't know anybody, you know, so it was kind of like this out-of-place kid walking to a new school. But Halston also made me feel super comfortable and we joked around the entire time. I thought she was the sweetest and super talented and super passionate about what she does. We were a really great team. You know, we got to experience a really cool thing together. We filmed at Wrigley for 20 hours, which is a really long time to be working with one other person. And I think we really bonded over the experience. He gives off such a warm energy. And I think that warmth and kindness is something I learned to bring into my life. I met Wolfgang. My first impression is he was just super enthusiastic. I asked a lot of questions. He just knew how to hold a conversation. He had like a, a personality about him. which just kind of glow. Like, you know, he, he sort of showed the same energy to everybody. Super, super supportive, friend, uh, hardworking, extremely focused. Just from just being a lover of music and movies my whole life, I've always just had mad respect for him and the actors and the filmmakers he worked with. So I was constantly picking his brain about what was it like to be with Edward Norton and Will Smith, and it was just a pleasure working with him. And one quote he said that I will always remember is, listen man, tell me the situation. Am I in space? Is my mom dying? I'll make you believe it. And he had such conviction and such confidence, I was like, damn man. <laughs> I want to act with that. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You gonna headbutt me? Yeah. You gotta keep looking in my eyes. Oh, right. Hi. Eyes. Ain't nothing. Two men staring each other down. Ain't nothing. No, don't, don't start pulling faces, no, 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 no. don't do it. What's up? What, what are you doing, man? Bad, bad. I got you, I got you. <laughs> this is now. You're an easy person to look at. Thanks. <laughs> Even when you do that. Really? Why are you blinking? Scared? I don't, I'm scared? Well, we I looked in each other's eyes for like four before. weeks. So. Yeah. What does that mean? It means love, right? We do. We do love each other. Yeah. This guy. I actually feel like I could have like cried. Oh. It was very intimate. Oh. It was very sweet. Yeah, it is super intimate. Yeah, I was trying to be hella, hella serious. This is a damn good looking guy right here. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I was looking at a young Superman right here. <laughs> young Superman. I was like, wow. Appreciate it. <laughs> KJ, Appa, you are the most personable person I know. Oh, really? Yes. You make an effort to get to know anyone you are with and make them feel totally comfortable. That's so nice. Yeah, it's true though. Thanks, Maya. You're welcome. Maya. Yes. I love your style. Oh. I love your smile. And I love how funny you think you are and how much you crack yourself up, <laughs> which cracks me up, which cracks me up. <laughs> and I love how chill you are. It makes everyone else really chill too. Oh, thanks for saying I think I'm funny. <laughs> I think you're funny. Thank you. But you crack yourself up, yeah, which I is funny. Tyler, yeah. <laughs> I really admire your warm heart and ability to be calm and cool at all times. You are so sweet and talk about your dogs and your girlfriend with such genuine love and affection. Aw, that's very kind of you, thank you. Halston, I think you're really, really good at not taking things too seriously and having fun and finding the joy in things. You really know how to enjoy life, the big and the small things. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so I respect Halston a lot, and so the fact that she was honest and respects me is, is very nice to hear. So thank you. Feelings are very mutual. Look at that. <laughs> Wolfgang. Yes, man. sir. 
I wrote that uh, you are very hardworking and you're unselfish. Mm. That's, what I, that's what I recognize about Thank you. Thank you well, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a very supportive friend. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Can Thank I rewrite you. my compliment? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Mr. Jacob O'Neill Lattimore. Your new single, Come Over Here, reminded me of a young Maxwell. Oh, wow. What is the name of your new album and where can I stream it? Oh, Connection Part 2. Connection Part anyway. 2, you can get it on iTunes, Spotify, anywhere, See? right now. See, you, just, <laughs> you didn't have to do that, I appreciate that. <laughs> got no, you, man, no, got you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's love, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's easy, you don't have to force it. I trust my cast. I wouldn't. You got it, it's pretty good. Okay, one, two. You got it, yeah! yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, man. Uh, he moved up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we go. Oh my god. Yeah, you got it. Let go. Let him 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 go. Let